Christy sends her love. First question I have is where am I going? The answer, I don't know yet. I could fly over the dump. That would actually be pretty fun. Okay, so what's the point of today's test? We're gonna pit Jack and Rose against each other again. They're not mortal enemies, I promise you. They actually are buddies. We're gonna try and see if all Mini 2s are made equal with respect to the return to home feature. We're gonna send both Jack and Rose up out for a mission. We're gonna hit return to home and we're gonna see which one of them actually lands closest to the home point to which, or from which they took off. You may ask, well, what inspired such a test? I don't even really know where I'm going. I'm just driving aimlessly through the, uh, through the forest. We've done a lot of return to home tests in the past with Jack. We've never done one with Rose, so this will, this will be a good one to break her in. We're only gonna do one flight each, but Kevin, that's not enough flights to make it an accurate comparison. It is, <laughs> in my opinion, I'm not a scientist. I'm actually really hungry. I'm starving to death. I don't know I've asked you guys this already before, but leave a comment letting us know uh, if you've decided to get the Mini 3 since um, all of these new videos are coming out about the Mini 3. A little thing's impressive. It's time to get everything set up. I'll put the camera, I think, on a... Um, what do you call these? What is this called? Oh, it's broke. That's nice. <laughs> Jeez, man. Uh, everything's broke. Where's the piece that it connects to? Oh, it's totally broke. Well, that's interesting. How'd that happen? What is this called? This is a... It's not an easel. <laughs> um, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> There's a fire truck coming. They're like, what is that guy doing? He's got a camera on a whatever, he can't even remember what it's called. All right, so I've got the landing pad set up. I've got the camera on the whatever it's called. I really cannot remember the name of this thing. We've got Jack sitting here. He won the coin toss. He gets to go first. He's gonna set the precedent. So let's get Jack up in the air. And let's get this test started. Take off. There we go, Our Jack's up. Has been updated. Please check it on the map. Do my forward backwards test like I did last time. Fire truck is leaving. Here, let's get the picture of the fire truck as it drives away. <laughs> See you guys. All right, let's get the look at the look at how cloudy the sky is. All right, we'll get up to about 100 feet or so. We'll fly out. We'll fly out in the same direction that we did last last video, actually. Maybe we'll just follow the fire truck. <laughs> we'll get up to 100 feet, and we'll go out, let's say, I don't know, two or 300 feet, uh, maybe 400 feet. And we got, we're out a couple hundred feet in normal mode. I think it's a little bit windy out here because I'm not getting the speed that I normally get. All right, we'll just go out to 500 feet, and then we'll uh, we'll turn Jack around and let's turn him around to face us. Make this as fair for both of them as possible. All right, so Jack is now facing us. Let's hit return to home. See how close he can get. Go home. He's raising up to the 153 feet that I got him marked at, and he's starting his uh, flight back home. I kind of would rather look at the houses than, than these buildings. Whenever he gets overhead, I will, uh, he's right there, so I'm going to look down, see how close he is to the landing pad. I'm not sure why that happened. It looks like he's actually pretty close. And we'll see how close he actually got. He's not that close. <laughs> Come on, buddy, move to your right. Or left, or my right. What? I think it's your, your right. Yeah, you're right. 
He might not land on the asphalt. I don't know. He's a few feet away. And there he goes. Oh, there's Christy's car. <laughs> Is he in view? Yes, he's in view of the GoPro. That's cool. I forgot the tape measure, so I've got to use my phone. And there is an app. It's called the Measure app. <laughs> it comes on every iPhone, I guess, that's out there now. All right, so how do you use this? I'm going to go this way. I think you hit plus. Whoops, nope. Let's clear it. Clear. We'll go to Jack. We'll put a little mark on him. And we'll measure to the control pad or to the landing pad and it looks like he's about where's it at let's see <laughs> I can't seem to get it man I'm not very good at this go over that way there you go there you go three foot one inch so we say three foot one inch so Jack didn't do too bad well now it's Rose's turn we're gonna get her all set up and ready to go and she's gonna show Jack how it's done. She can beat three foot one inch, I think, right? You can do it, can't you? <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, we got 11 satellites, so I don't think that's strong enough yet. Fire truck's back. They just keep driving back and forth. It's really weird. All right, here we go. We got 17 satellites. We got a strong signal. I think we're ready to go. Let's get uh, Rose up in the air. Let me make sure that she's in the shot of the GoPro. There, there we go. All right, let's get Rose up in the air. Take off. The home point has been updated. Okay. Please I'm, check it on the map. I'm going to move her up, down, backwards, and forward, too, and make sure that she's responding the way that she should. I think that she is. All right. And we're going to fly along that same path that Jack flew for 500 feet. So let me get up to 100 feet here. I think she's hovered long enough. Get the gimbal down a little bit. It is still really cloudy out here. Whoops, let me go down a little bit. All right, here we go. We'll go out, out the same path that Jack flew for 500 feet. And my, my screen just dimmed again. You know, this is what I was saying with the, uh, the new controller for the, for the Mini 3, the Mini 3 Pro, that's a huge benefit, not having to worry about the screen dimming. I can still see it, but uh, it's not nearly as bright as it needs to be for me to, to be effective and to be safe. All right, let's get her turned back around. She's going to face us here. Okay, there we go. Now she's facing us. Oh, she went a little bit too far. <laughs> All right, let's hit the home, return home and see what she does. I think she's Go at the 150 mark just like Jack was. Oh, yeah, it's the same app. <laughs> Here she comes. All right, she raised up to 149 feet instead of 153 feet. I wonder why she did that. But she's coming home, and she's coming in hot. And there she is. She's right overhead. Let's hit the gimbal facing down and see where she lands. I don't know why the gimbal keeps doing that, but it keeps adjusting itself to 80 degrees when I've got it down to 90. As soon as she stops, it flips it Landing. flips itself up. Man, she looks a lot closer than Jack was. I think she might just show Jack up here. <laughs> no way, she's like on the landing pad almost. We may not even have to measure this one, guys. I don't know if the... Uh, the new firmware, the 1.4.0000 firmware that she has, I wonder if, no, um, maybe not. I could be wrong. <laughs> she's, she's in the same direction that Jack was. She's to the, to the right of the pad. And there's Christy's car again. Area unstable. I'm gonna go ahead and land her because it is stable. I don't know why it's saying that it's not stable. Landing. All right, there we go. All right, let me get my phone. My, uh, my iPhone, and we'll use the uh, measure app again. Well, to me, it looks about the same. <laughs> I was giving her all this hype when she was coming down, but now it looks the same. So let's get the measure app up. Let's get a, a point marked on her. Hit plus. 
whoops, let me clear that because that's not on her. All right, we'll hit plus. There we go right there. And then we'll go back to the landing pad there. I can't get my bearings. All right, well, it looks like it's exactly the same. Well, I'm not quite. She might be a little bit closer, but who knows? Who knows how accurate these iPhones actually are with this? Um, wow, that's actually a pretty cool test because it shows to me that it shows to me that it's it's the same for basically both drones. It's a good deal. Oh, yep, fire truck's back. They didn't even look. <laughs> I'm sitting there waving at them like a maniac and they didn't even look. Are you guys surprised? <laughs> I'm not really surprised either. I'm actually really pleased with the results of both drones. I'm glad that they were consistent with each other. Now, we, we all know that the Mini 2 doesn't have the GPS lock or whatever they call that, that like the Air 2S has, um, because the Air 2S will apparently land exactly where it takes off every time without fail. I think of all the return to home tests that we've done so far, I think this is my favorite because uh, it showed that the Mini 2s pretty much are made equal. I wonder if I forgot anything back there. I didn't do a, I didn't do a ground sweep when I left. I really want to thank everybody for watching the video today. Have a good week. God bless. See you next time.